from a security standpoint, it is a multi-layered defense. Jeffrey Merrifield is a retired commissioner with the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. He worked under the Clinton and Bush administrations. The design of the nuclear reactors in the United States uh, takes into account the different catastrophic scenarios. University of Houston professor Dr. Stanko Brankovic is working on ways to make nuclear energy safer. Both helped us understand the security and safety features nuclear plant operators are required to maintain. The closest nuclear power facility to us is the South Texas project in Matagorda County, which supplies power to two million homes. First are the building's housing reactors. Built with heavily uh, reinforced concrete and steel uh, with rebar the size of your fist. Very hard to penetrate and also provides a tight ceiling where no gases can escape if there is a, some kind of incident happening in the uh, reactor. Both men said these facilities are designed to withstand floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, and earthquakes. Merrifield was an NRC commissioner during 9-11, which forced the government to also look at the possibility of planes flying into these facilities. We demonstrated through uh, significant investment of research dollars, about $40 million, that these plants can uh, appropriately um, withstand uh, those kind of attacks. One of the main requirements for operators of nuclear reactors is the ability to successfully defend against what our government refers to as a design basis threat. And a DBT, as it's known, is based on the tactics, techniques, and procedures of foreign and domestic terrorist groups. And one of the ways our government checks whether nuclear plants can meet these threats is through something called a force-on-force -force inspection. That means every three years, plants like this one are put under a simulated attack. It's a weeks-long process that involves both tabletop exercises and a boots-on-the-ground incursion that gets as close as possible to real-world conditions. I'm not aware of any other civilian uh, facilities in the United States that have to do this type of testing. The NRC also requires operators to have plans in place to defend against cyber attacks, as well as how they will work with local, state, and federal agencies if there is an emergency. There are also regular checks on safety procedures. Those vehicles are quite safe uh, in, in, in that sense. At all of the nuclear power plants across the United States, there are on-site resident inspectors. These are our NRC inspectors who are there, uh, available to tour and review the site procedures 24 hours a day. When it comes to defending these facilities against potential cyber attacks from Russia, the NRC did send us a statement reading in part, the NRC has full confidence that U.S. nuclear power plant licensees are protecting their facilities against a cyber attack on the digital systems that provide for safety and security. Robert Arnold, KPRC2 News.